Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of February, so stay tuned. So February was a pretty light month as far as big releases were concerned. We did get a few, got a few 4K releases, and I did a lot of eBay shopping. So today I wanted to take time to show you what all I picked up. Um, first up, I'll show you my Shop Factory, Screen Factory pickups. I did pick up Twice Dead. Now this right here is a Shop Factory exclusive. Screen Factory, I guess you would say. Never really heard of it, but it was limited, so I went ahead and picked that one up. I also got the um, double feature for the Terror Within and the Terror Within 2. This right here was another um, exclusive. And then from Amazon, I picked up Ghost House and Witchery. I've been trying to get all the double features that I can get a hold of. So very nice to have that one in the collection. And then also I did pick up the My Bloody Valentine still book. I really like this still book. I am um, I do have all of the still books from Screen Factory and Shop Factory, um, except for the anime ones. But anyway, I got this one and I got it with the um, lithographs and with the minor figure, which is nice to have. And then some of the regular Shop Factory releases I got. I got Dead Reckoning. Haven't really heard much about this one, um, but I do like to collect um, the Shop Factory line. Another one, Centigrade. And Tesla. So those are the Shop Factory, Screen Factory releases. Oh, and there's one more. We got Sputnik. And then from Paramount Presents, I did pick up Elizabeth Town. Never actually seen this movie. I have heard some pretty good things about it. So I got that one, and of course I got Love Story. Really nice releases. I do enjoy the Paramount Presents releases. And then from Arrow Video, I got the El Duce tapes. I'm not very familiar with this one, but I've had this in pre-ordered for a while. So I got that one. For the 4K releases, I did get the Castle of Cagliostro. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, but I got that one. Of course, I got Do the Right Thing, which is a beautiful release. And I also got the Target exclusive still book for that, which I did an unboxing for. And I also got Elysium. So pretty pretty low on the 4K releases for the month. Um, some of the regular releases I got, I got Silk Road. Not very familiar with this one, but it does have a really nice looking slip cover. So I am looking forward to checking this one out. Of course I got Wrong Turn, which I, which I haven't had a chance to watch yet. And then I got this one called Big Bad Wolves. I'm not really familiar with this one, but I did read about it, and I, I might have saw a, um, a video about this one on YouTube, and so I picked that one up. And then Wander Darkly is another nice one with this slipcover. Um, I haven't really heard much about this one, but when I saw the slip, I knew that I needed to get this one. And then I ordered Judge Dredd with Stallone. I watched the Judge Dredd um, remake recently and really enjoyed it and I, it's been a long time since I've seen this one so I went ahead and picked that one up. Another still book that I got is Love, um, Lovecraft Country, the complete um, first season. Really nice looking still book. I did an unboxing of this. I actually watched all of this, the um, complete first season. It started out pretty good. Um, it had some slow moments but overall it's a really good movie. I mean, a really good TV show. I enjoyed it. And then I got Freaky, really nice looking slipcover. I watched this one and really enjoyed this movie. It's a um, kind of a take on Freaky Friday, but I definitely recommend you check this one out. Um, I also picked up um, Host. I watched this one. This right here was a pretty good found footage type movie. Um, it was only a little bit about 57, I think 57 minutes long. And then I got Let Him Go. I really enjoyed this one. Um, Diane Lane and Kevin Costner had really good performances in this. I really enjoyed this movie. 
Another movie that I watched this month is Greenland. Um, I really enjoyed this disaster type film. Um, really set on the family dynamic. Okay, another one with a really good slipcover is Random Acts of Violence. Now, I haven't heard much of this one, but I did see a few good reviews on Blu-ray.com for this. So, um, I added that one to the collection. Arch Enemy is another one. Haven't really heard much about, but I really love that slipcover. And then I found this on sale for $7.99 at Best Buy. I got Ma. I haven't heard very much about this one as far as it being good. Um, but I did not have this one in the collection, so I went ahead and added that. Um, Fear of Rain. That's another one that I never heard of that I picked up. And I did get a pretty good price on the Hammer Films 20 film set from Mill Creek. So this is the Ultimate Collection. has all of these films in it. Um, I want to say I paid in the $30 range, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I wanted that one added to the collection. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the UK, um, the UK pickups I got, which there's quite a bit. Um, Battle Royale, still book from Zavi UK. This is an Arrow release. I did watch this. Um, I had, I've heard so many good things about this um, particular film. Um, but have never seen it, so I finally took the chance and watched it and um, enjoyed it for what it was. I had higher expectations for it, um, but overall a really um, enjoyable movie. I did do a unboxing of Black Sails. This is the complete collection, steelbook collection, so if you'd like to check that out. Um, it does come with the two steelbooks. I got the Mondo Black Panther still book. Doctor Strange Mondo still book. And Guardians of the Galaxy Mondo still book. And then I got St. Maud still book from Zavi. Watch this one. This is a um, pretty interesting movie. This is from A24, I believe. Studio, um, Studio Canal. Actually, it may not be A24, but anyway, it's Studio Canal. Um, I enjoyed watching that. I don't know that I'll be watching it anytime soon again. I did get the Titans Occult Pacific Rim release, which I usually just keep these um, sealed up. And I also got the Old Boy um, Arrow release on 4K. So... I have not unboxed this one yet. I'll probably do that soon. So I'll be looking for that. Okay, let's see. I got from 88 Films, I got Maximum Risk, Nowhere to Run, and Double Team. Really nice Van Damme um, releases that I try to get all of. And then from 101 Films, I've got Tammy and the T-Rex with this little slip box and booklet. So nice to have that one. From Eureka, I got quite a bit of titles. I got The Bride with White Hair. I've had that pre-ordered for a while, finally came in. I got Breeder. The Last Warning. Mind Warp. And pulse. So really nice Eureka releases. And then from Second Sight Films, I believe, I got The Nightingale. I've heard mixed reviews about this one, but I definitely want to check this one out. I do have the Shop Factory release for that. And then the um, Host Edition. So very happy to have those in the collection. So I just uploaded a video for Sloppy Second Sales. Um, these are the titles that I got from them. I did put in Star Wars the Original Trilogy Despecialized Edition, and the quality is pretty good. It's not, it wasn't bad at all, and it does have all three um, films in it. So I'm very happy that I added that one to the collection. 
I did watch Nightbreed on the cobble cut. I, I called it the cable cut, cobble cut. I think it's pronounced cobble. Um, but anyways, I watched this one last night and enjoyed it. It was three hours long, which was a little bit too long for me, but um, I did want to see the entire footage. And so it was nice to take the opportunity to see that. And I got the Phantom Toll Booth, Freddy's Nightmares, and Muppet Babies. So I did do a video of that if you want to check that one out. Okay, we recently had a um, Criterion release, um, a Criterion 50% off flash sale. I got One Eye Jax, Riot and Cell Block 11, Smooth Talk, Minding the Gap, His Girl Friday, and Red River. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I got from eBay. I have been doing a lot of eBay shopping. Um, I did get the Ice Age 3 Adventure Collection. This is the Disney Movie Club exclusive. Got a really good price, I think around $9 for that. Um, I got Gattaca from the Blu-ray Essentials line. The Wailing with a slip cover. Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome. Um, I do have the complete series set of that, but I didn't have this particular release with a slip, so I, I picked that one up. I got Fire and Ice. Um, Eddie the Eagle, which I took time to watch. I really enjoyed this movie. Highly recommend you check that one out if you, um, if you want to. Um, to Catch a Thief. I recently watched this one for the first time and enjoyed that one with Cary Grant and Grace Kelly. I got Shin Godzilla with a slip. Blade of the Immortal with a slip. I really like this slip with all the embossing on it. And I picked up Mr. Jones just because of the slip. And then I did pick up some DVDs. Um, I got I've been wanting these in these particular releases for a while. I got Tales from the Crypt, the first season, second season, third season, the fourth season, and the fifth season. So now I just need to find the, the um, later releases and get those added to the collection. But I really do enjoy Tales from the Crypt. I know that they have the big box set for pretty cheap. Well, you know, cheaper than buying these individually. But I do like the packaging on these. Okay, and lastly, um, I want to show you another thing that I've been focused on during the month of February and a little bit of January, if I'm not mistaken. I think I ordered some of these in January. But um, when Target had their sale, I've been trying to beef up my A24 collection. I have been watching a lot of A24 films. So um, I did pick up a lot of titles this month from Amazon and from eBay and also from um, Target. Um, but first up, I got this one from the A24 website. This is Krisha. Krisha. Um, I added that one to the collection. And then these are the ones without slips. I got Slow West, Backstabbing for Beginners, The Last Movie Star, First Reformed, 20th Century Women, The Vanishing of Sydney Hall, In Fabric, and under the Silver Lake. Now some of these actually do come with slips, um, but I was unable to get those. Um, I am looking for slips for a few of these, but some of these did not come with slips. Now the ones that I got with slip covers, I got um, Climax. Got this one off the of eBay. The Disaster Artist. The Bling Ring, which I watched. Um, wasn't really sure what to expect on this one. I don't think I'll be watching it anytime soon again, but I did want to add that one to the collection. Um, De Palma, Woodshock, 
with Kirsten Dunst. Um, I watched this one. It was very strange. Don't know that I'll be watching that one anytime soon. The Lovers, which I still need to check out. The Kill Team. Gloria Bell. How to Talk to Girls at Parties. Equals. The Adderall Diaries. And Lean on Pete. So those are the A24 titles that I picked up. I do have some other ones in the collection. I have been watching a lot of A24 titles here recently. So if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, um, you can check me out on Letterboxd. I do um, log all the movies that I watched. I, I have been watching a movie every day since January 1st. Even before that, but I actually been I have actually been logging since then. So if you'd like to see what I've been watching, um, check me out on Letterboxd. But those are all the pickups that I got during the month of February. If it wouldn't have been for the eBay and the A24, I think I would have really saved some money during the month. But this was a good month for me to catch up on the items that I've been looking at and the ones that I've been wanting to get. Um, hopefully you were able to get all the items that you wanted during the month of February. I have seen a few of your um, videos that you that do YouTube videos. I have seen some of your videos already for the month of February and you got some really good pickups. Um, but hopefully you got all that you wanted. Um, if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. But thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.